be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be COVID ain't got nothing on you, uh-uh. So we're talking about today, y'all, we're talking about how this pandemic has no power over you. All it has is the power that you give it. Okay, what is happening? All right, everything good, everything good, everything good. All right, wanna make sure we're on Facebook and we are on Instagram and I'm so excited today because this is a powerful concept and not enough people get this. COVID ain't got nothing on you. This pandemic's got nothing on you, only if you let it. So we gotta talk about some pretty hard truths today. So I want you to hang with me and I want you to really listen because I think you're gonna get a word from God today that is gonna change how you are seeing this world. Because the truth of it is, there is there are two forces at work the world and the word. And here's the deal. The majority of people, we look at the world and we're like, this is my reality. This is what I have to live with. This, this situation, these circumstances, wow, it sucks or wow, it's great or whatever it is. And then we develop our thoughts around what's going on in our world. But we have to understand there is a force that is greater than our world there's a force that is creating our world and that force is our word and i'm going to give you something that's going to change everything around for you sweetheart it's going to be it's so good so let me share with you something about your word okay it's got so much powerful so much power your word has so much power so listen to this okay and hebrews 11 verse 3 it says by faith we understand that the worlds during the successive ages were framed, fashioned, put in order, and equipped for their intended purposes by the word of God. Okay, what did you just get there? The world was made by the word. You got it? The world was made by the word. Now, it says, so that what we see was not made out of things which are visible. So everything we're seeing... Okay, whatever you're seeing in your world today, whether it's, wow, I'm, I'm having a really hard time with my kids right now, uh, my marriage is struggling, the, uh, my finances are kind of a mess right now, I'm pretty much overwhelmed, I'm struck with fear, whatever is going on in your world, it didn't just pop in there, okay? There were words that were created that, cre that manifested this, your circumstances. Now stick with me. I'm going to bring it all home for you because it says that God, out of his word, he created the world, right? We got that. Yeah, we got that. But now here's, here's the kicker. You ready for this? Because it also says in the word of God that as he is, so are we in this world. So the way God works is the way we're supposed to be working. Listen to me now. The way that God works is the way we're supposed to be working. Jesus even said, greater things will you do than I do. He's like, look at me, look at how I operate. I'm showing you an example of how to operate and live by faith, because that's how we're supposed to be living. We're not supposed to be living by the seat of our pants. We're not supposed to be living uh, mastered by our emotions. We're not supposed to be living struggling and barely making it through. That's not supposed to be your life, friend. No way. That ain't supposed to be your life. Your life is supposed to have an anointing of ease. Your life is supposed to be characterized by abundance. Your life is supposed to be, get this, a symbol and a source of God's goodness. People are supposed to be looking at your life and seeing God showing up in all areas. But we can get surrounded with all this fear, all this COVID crap, all this pandemic nonsense, and we can start letting it affect the words that we say over our lives instead of the other way around. Now, you may have caught yourself doing that. You may have caught yourself complaining or talking about what is or talking about the situation or this is, we got to do this, we got to do that, we got to struggle, this is scary, I might get sick, all the things, right? All the thoughts. And when we take these thoughts, and we let them trickle on down into our vocal cords. Oh, that's 
when we often create the recipe for success or disaster. And I don't know about you, friend, but just looking around at what's going on in our world, hello, we've got some disaster, right? We are not affected by that. You do not have to be moved by a pandemic. You do not have to be moved by COVID. You don't have to be moved by anything outside of your stance in God's truth. Because we are in the world, but that doesn't mean we got to be of it. We are in the world, but we operate by a different system. We live by a different code of conduct. We operate by supernatural means. So what does that mean? It means this. If you're dealing with something in your life right now, change your words about it. Because we do the same thing God does. He showed us how he created, right? How did he create this universe? He spoke it, baby. He spoke it. And that was enough. So we have to understand this is exactly how we need to do it. We need to speak what we want instead of what we have. Listen to what I just said. You better speak what you want and not what you have. Because I don't know about you, but some people are having some situations today, right? Some people are having some stress. Some people are having some fears. Quit speaking that. Quit fertilizing those seeds of fear with your words. Let's change it around. I want to I drop another bomb on you. Listen, Psalm 33, verse 9. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. That's how God works. He speaks and it's done. He commands and it stands fast. Now, guess what? Let's go back to that same principle. As he is, so are we in this world. Friend, we speak. We command. We decree a thing. We declare it so. And God has given us creative power. He has given us that manifestation. He said, go, take authority, take dominion, multiply. Don't look at the world and say, well, this is what I got. Look at the world as your canvas. Because God has given you all the materials you need to create a masterpiece of this life and just let it flow out into the lives of others. Friend, you're supposed to be, be living a life that is so characterized by abundance that people just want to get near you so that favor drips off of you onto them. That's the life you're supposed to be living. And it starts with what's coming out of your mouth. What are you speaking? Because we're supposed to be doing things God's way, not man's way. You, you just have to look on social media, just scroll a little bit and see fear, trepidation, terror, um, just debasement. You don't have to look far, right? We change that. We're supposed to be the light in the darkness. We're supposed to be the city on the hill. We're supposed to be the salt. Friends, show up. Change your life so that people can see an example of what God wants to do in this world. Don't fall for the pandemic scare. Don't fall for the COVID crisis. Don't fall for all the media tactics that are trying to keep you trapped and insignificant in the kingdom of God. You are a world changer. You are meant to create change, starting with your life and trickling out into the lives of others. I want to share one thing with you that I, I think this one verse, someone's going to get this and it's going to change your life. I guarantee this one verse in Job 22, 28, 29. You ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. It's so good. This is so good. All right. Someone's feeling low right now. And this one verse is going to change all that, right? This one thing. You shall also decide and decree a thing and it shall be established for you. And the light of God's favor shall shine upon your ways. Now listen to this. When they make you low, you will say, there is a lifting up. Woo! <laughs> when people come and make you low, when the pandemic comes and makes you low, when COVID fear makes you low, when all the media crap makes you low, you will say, oh, no, no, because there is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. See, I'm not moved by this world. I move this world by my words. That's how we live. That's how we do our business. That's how kingdom people operate. We decree a thing 
and we make it so. We speak it with our words. So what are you looking at today in your world? Are you looking at a stack of bills? Are you looking at a child who is being defiant? Are you looking at a marriage that's struggling? Are you looking at a situation in your life that you could have never predicted and now you don't know what to do with it? That's where you change it around with your words. Don't be moved by the world, sister. Don't be moved by what you see, by what you hear, by what you feel, because we're not dictated by our feelings. We dictate our feelings and we move this world and we move our life and we create our existence through the power of our words. Speak it, decree a thing, and it'll come to pass. Listen, when they make you low, that's Job 22, 29. When they make you low, whatever it is that's making you low, that fear, that worry, that doctor's report, that bill, that situation that you can't figure yourself out of, when they make you low, you will say, there is a lifting up. Oh, God. There is a lifting up. If God Almighty can raise his only begotten son from the dead, then what can he do in your life? You are unlimited. God wants to show up and he wants to show off in your life. He wants to take whatever situation that's making you low and there is a lifting up. He wants to lift you up out of that into abundance. But here's the deal, friend. He is a gentleman and God is not going to intrude on your life when you are so dead set on getting in a certain direction. If you are so dead set, and there's there's the word there, dead set. If you are dead set on, yep, I'm broke. Um, if you are dead set, yep, I'm going to be sick. If you are dead set, yep, my marriage is failing. If you are dead set, yep, my kid is rebelling. If you are dead set in that, God is not going to intrude. He has given you creative power. He said, through your words, you will decree a thing and it will be established. So what are you going to decree? There is a lifting up, but you make the choice. You speak the words. What are you speaking over your world? I want to hear this. I want to hear this, friend, because I believe that there is a lifting up and today marks when that happens. I want to pray over you right now. Father God, I thank you so much for this person who is watching, for this person who is listening. Father, we agree with you that you are a good God, that you are a faithful God, that you want to bless us, that you want to lift us up out of this, Father, so the world can see a living example in our lives of what you want to do for your people. Father, you want to give us an abundant life, the overflow life, a life without limits. And we agree to that right now, Father. We repent of those words we have spoken over our money, over our health, over our children, over our families, over our home, over this world that have been anything but positive. And Father, we repent of that. We repent that we have let curses come out of our mouth. And Father, renew our vocal cords, renew our voice, renew our thoughts, Father, so that out of the abundance of our hearts, our hearts, Father, that are good and faithful and positive, that our mouth will only speak blessing, blessing this world, blessing our government, Father, blessing our bodies, our health, our communities, Everything, Father, we declare it blessed. We decree a thing. So, Father, even though there are perverse forces at work right now in our stance of supernatural goodness, we stand against it. We reverse perverse powers at work in this world. We reverse the curse. We reverse sickness. We decree a thing and it will be established. We decree that we are a loving, godly country, that we will rise up, Father, that we will overcome, that we will not let fear keep us down. But Father, we, the children of God, we, believers, we, the favored, the blessed, we will only speak what is true. And that truth is found in your word, God. Thank you that your word always trumps this world, that we have overcome by the blood of the lamb and by our testimony, Father. We praise you for that. In the name of Jesus, amen. That's how we do business.
I love you. I love you so much, friend. Remember, don't fall for that BS. And when I say BS, I mean the business of Satan. Don't fall for it. it ain't got no business in your life. You're a believer. You're a child of God. And you are blessed like crazy.